day, beautiful people. Welcome back to Stillwater's ASMR. And yes, I'm in my pajamas. I'm riding to a friend's house looking after her kitties for her while she's away. I went outside in my pajamas. That's my toes you're biting, baby. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say I'm sorry for not posting in so long. Things have been pretty hectic. I think I've gone like a whole two, two weeks without posting anything. But in that time, I've hit 100 subscribers. That's, uh, really exciting. And I, I didn't expect to be hitting that number after having not posted for two weeks. But thank you so much to everyone who subscribed. Um, I will explain these little monsters in a minute. Uh, but yeah, thank you everyone who subscribed. Uh, and thank you everyone for bearing with me with uh, the lack of videos. Look at this gorgeous little girl. Um, so basically, uh, I'm currently around at my friend's house. She's away on holiday. And uh, her husband just adopted three gorgeous kittens. So over there is Vanquish. Right here we have got Storm. And then in my lap, being a snuggle bug, we have got Phoenix. Who has got thumbs? Look at those little paws. Such a happy little kitty. And her sister's like, hey, me too. Me too. Look at that beautiful little girl. So Phoenix and Storm are sisters. I'm the same letter. And they're quite young, they're only a couple months old, and they're really, these are all rescues. Um, they're really affectionate. Um, come on, really quick. My friends only had them for a few weeks. But little Vanquish over there, she's a bit more standoff, as you can see. She's a bit like, hmm, not sure about you. I'm gonna pat you. Um, <laughs> she's a clever girl. She's not quite so sure. But, uh, she's a bit of a daddy's girl, actually. It's quite unusual. Normally cats prefer, or normally animals prefer girls, but she really prefers her dad. He's, um, he's just amazing with them. And, uh, yeah, she's a, she's a bit of a daddy's girl. She's, she'll let me touch her at certain places in the room. But I mean, it's only been a few weeks and she's come on so well, so soon already. I mean, they only met me this other week and the fact that I can pet her, I just, I think that's amazing. So, the, the quieter, shyer cats are so worth it. They're so worth the love. And if you give them a chance, they can, they can really blossom. So yeah, this is just going to be a quick little video. Um, so I'm actually, I'm choked with the cold right now. I've been off work today um, because I promised to look after these babies. Then I, uh, I've come out in my pajamas. I have awesome snippy pajamas. I went out the grocery store the other day. I had money off cat vouchers, uh, and I thought I'd treat myself to some new pajamas. Um, so yeah, I'm. I've been off sick today. Uh, I was really hoping I'd get to the end of the year without having any more sick days, but this stinking cold. Um, unfortunately, because I have Crohn's disease, I have to take really strong immune suppressant medication um, to keep my Crohn's under control, because it's basically you're an overactive immune system attacking your body. But that also means because I, I have a suppressed immune system, I, I get real, I get sick really easily. So, um, basically if I have too much fun, and I was at an amazing concert this weekend, and I danced for several hours straight, and as a result I now have a cold. So, yeah, if I ever do too much exercise, I end up sick, which is really hard when you're trying to lose weight. <laughs> um, even like a 15 minute swimming session can be too much. They've all disappeared. Beer, though. Um, uh, that 
that's actually why I've not been filming. I've only been sick the last few days. Um, hey, yeah, baby girl. That's all bought the little thumbs. She's so cute. She's a sweet pea. And they're just staring. I don't know what's happening. Um, so, yeah, basically, normally if I'm, if I know I'm gonna be busy in advance, I'll, like, record a bunch of film, uh, a bunch of, bunch of videos. Sorry, I'm probably blocking the microphone with my hand. I'm not using the speaker, um, headphones today. Uh, yeah, normally if I know I'm gonna be busy, then I will zoomies. I'll record like a bunch of videos in advance, um, and like have them queued up. Uh, but things kind of just got chaotic for a few weeks there, and I didn't get a chance to catch up with videos. And it just seemed like I had something on pretty much every night of the week. Um, and then when I did have quiet times, like I was free, my neighbours have been so noisy lately. So noisy. Like immediately, like, so I live in a, in a row of terrace houses. Um, oh, and if it looks like it's a bit of a building site, it's because they're still, um, they're still working on the house. Um, there, I mean, this place is going to be absolutely stunning when they're finished. Um, sorry, I've got a runny nose. I keep sniffing. Um, yeah, so basically, uh, my... I've completely forgotten what I was talking about. What were we talking about? I'm just, I've, I've literally spent most of the day sleeping or watching trash on YouTube. just generally about how I was busy. Oh, my neighbours, that's what I was talking about. Um, yeah, so next door, I've got neighbours on both sides of me and paper thin walls. And on one side of me is a family with like a young boy, he's like primary school age, like grade school age. They're a very lovely polite family. Um, I start getting noisy. They're a lovely polite family. Um, but the other night, like there have been a few times where I've wanted to try and film something and then they start making noise. And uh, uh I'm just gonna sit and film the kitties being kitties. Um there's little monsters. And then uh next door on the other side, they've got a little toddler. I mean you've heard them in my videos before. They have a a little toddler who resists bedtime and screams for hours on end. Uh and they just recently, <laughs> they've just recently got married and they scream at each other, like the, the, the parents, and it's just so awkward. Um, as for wedding, and the girls, like work colleagues were all quizzing me, like, oh, you're her neighbor, what's it like? Like, cause apparently she pretends everything's perfect at work. Um, like, yeah. Her and her husband might have been up to like one o'clock the night before screaming at one another. Uh, so yeah, often, like the last few weeks have been particularly bad on both sides of me with the noise. So every time I was free and I was like, had the energy to film, there's just been so much noise on either side. I was like, I can't, I can't do a film right now. I have a baby girl. Uh, the other day she was bringing me toy mice, which was really cute. Doing so well, their parents. Well, that's really annoying. So my iPhone, my iPhone used to, with iOS 11, it used to notify me when I was almost um, hitting like full capacity of storage. It stopped doing that. It just stops the video. Uh, so instead of being able to just go home and upload this, I'm gonna have to edit it, which means hours. Um, but I'll try out my new laptop and see if that's quicker. I've not actually put the, the video editing software on it yet. I don't know if you can see, but there's a little face peeking out from the tablecloth. She likes sitting on the chairs and she has a little fork around the table. She finds her sister's a bit much. She's actually a bit older, um, from a different litter. Uh, and she's, she's because she's older and therefore rescued a, 
a later stage in life, she's not as uh, friendly as her sisters yet. Anyway, she's a bit more wary. Sometimes even her sisters will make her jump. But she's doing absolutely amazing. But yeah, so basically the last few weeks, everything's been conspiring against me with trying to record videos. Either I've been busy or I've been having noisy neighbours who just won't shut up. So here it's nice and quiet. There's just the trickling of the water fountain. Oh, and also it's been bonfire night here in the UK, so there's been fireworks most nights for like several weeks. So here in the UK, then basically any time between Halloween and like pretty much mid-November is if there's going to be fireworks. It's only meant to be on the 5th of November. Remember, remember the 5th of November and something about bonfire plots. I don't remember the words. Uh, are we have Lenny? Oh, Margaret just joined them. Oh, are you banging in your mouse? No, no. Almost. But uh, yeah, so the here in the UK we've got um, see they're so sweet, they're just adorable. Here in the UK we have Bonfire Night, which is just to commemorate when Guy Fawkes tried to blow up Parliament. Uh, and that's when we, we normally have fireworks, but of course people buy them and set them off for days on either side. And uh, yeah, it's just everything's been conspiring against me. So, uh, I felt really bad not filming anything, but I'm super excited to have hit 100 subscribers. So thank you so much. And, uh, I have so many ideas, and just I need the time to actually <laughs> work on them. <laughs> the girls are so cute. So, uh, yeah, so right now you're just getting some kittens being cute because we all need a bit of kittens being cute in our lives. And they're adorable. The other day I was like wiggling my toes. Wiggling my toes. And uh, one of them like, almost like a backflip. Like she like bat batted at my toes and then this is massive leap. It's hilarious. So yeah, and then my bridge is in there, I think. I think the tunnel. Hi. I don't think you can see her, but I can see the eyes. I can see the eyes. She's looking at me with pretty eyes. Little pumpkin. But yeah, so uh, basically, yeah, I hope you're all well. doing great. And, uh, starting the countdown for Christmas. Yeah, I'm one of those people. I love Christmas. I mean, what's not to love? Yummy food, fairy lights, beautiful decorations, and some really trashy ones. Um, I like, like cheerful music, cheesy music, uh, like just, ah, oh, just, I love Christmas. I hate winter though, it's so dark and miserable. Uh, oh, oh, one thing I meant to tell you all guys, all the guy, blah, 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 words. One thing I meant to tell you guys all about, so there's a kitty in the box now, was, uh, so, uh, so at the weekend, uh, I met up with my fiance. Let's look at you, so that you call my boyfriend. Um, I met up with him up in Aberdeen. Because that's the halfway point between us at the moment. And, uh, he, uh, we had some time to kill. We were up there for a concert and uh, then we had like a whole weekend just to kill some time. So we, uh, uh, we were just wandering around the shops. I dragged him into this like 
bookstore or stationery store. Because, you know, I love all that kind of stuff. And oh my goodness, it was like, it was tingle heaven. It was amazing. So downstairs is like a whole bookshop area. Sorry, I'm being really wobbly here. So downstairs was like a whole bookshop. And it just smelled divine. I love the smell of books. New books, old books. I just love the smell of books. And some stores have got like music playing. This store didn't. And I was like, this would be the perfect store to do like a video in. But I didn't have the guts. And I was with my fiance at the time. So it was kind of, it would have been a bit awkward trying to film a video. <laughs> um, you know, I was trying not to take too long in there because like I was trying to preserve his sanity. He was being nice and not dragging me around his kind of shops for hours and then, so I was trying to be nice and not, not make him be in there for forever. But yeah, like the book smelled amazing. And then we went upstairs because like it was all the stationery and art supplies was upstairs. And I spotted the sign going, pointing upstairs and I'm like, oh, and he was like, do you want to go upstairs? I'm like, yes. So yeah, bless him, he came upstairs with me. And there was a little girl there. I say a little girl. She was maybe about like 10 or something. Oh my goodness. She was setting off my tinkles so much because there was like this um, stand that had like, it was like bowls that were like, um, like on a pole. So it was like different levels. Kind of like a cake stand but with big bowl type things. And it was like filled with little, little toy type things in plastic wrappers. And she was just quietly rummaging through these bowls and the crinkling of the plastic and her just quietly just rummaging through it just really quiet and gently and just like all oh, crinkles. It was amazing. I mean, again, I wish I could have got my phone out and recorded, but I probably would have been sent to jail for that. You know, recording some random girl, like young kid in public, that would be weird. Um, so I didn't. But my goodness, it was amazing. And then she was like going through pens and stuff and then at one point she was like um i didn't i was trying not to stare at her i was just like standing pretending to look at something else just listening so i'm not quite sure what she was looking at but i think they were like print sticks and like glue sticks or something like glitter sticks and i'm not sure but she was like taking the caps off and like having a look and then putting the caps back on and they made these really amazing like clicky noises and it was just So yeah, it was like so good. Little baby girl, she's like, give me the bus. Uh, yeah, it was just amazing. So uh, yeah, I uh, I was I was actually saying to Kevin, I was like, I need to go back and like record. I mean, obviously I can't go back to that store because it was in a different country, let alone a different city. So I need to I need to try and find one near me that I can go and just record it and try and find a quiet time of day to do that because it was amazing, absolutely amazing they had so many things there that just made amazing sounds there was just one notebook that had like this plastic wrapper on it uh, like a plastic cover and it made this amazing crinkle sound and I was like, I mean it was like seven pounds or something ridiculous like that for a notebook but I was so tempted to buy it just for the crinkles Kevin thought I was absolutely mad and I was like, oh my gosh I could buy this just for the crinkles he was like, you're nuts. But, you know, we've established that already. So, yeah. It was amazing. And I just, I just was in absolute heaven in that shop. Got so many amazing tingles in the middle of the day. And uh, just the kind of stuff that I just love. And I just thought of all you guys while I was in there. And I will try and figure out a way of growing a pair of balls and actually doing a video like that. Um, Southern Sounds ASMR does, or Southern ASMR Sounds, or how, whatever order her name is, she does them like the you know, store walkthroughs all the time and she just doesn't care and she's so like bold as brass, but I'm, I'm pretty sure we don't do those things. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, I need to get over my fear of what people will think of me walking around filming things in the store. So, uh, but anyway, I might go and play with these kitties a little bit and blow my nose. Sorry for me, just like that.
yesterday. Uh, I'm rocking the husky voice then at the moment. I was supposed to have a dentist appointment this morning, but I phoned up to cancel. The woman on the phone was like, oh gosh, you sound terrible, because I, I sounded even worse this morning. And I'm like, gee, thanks, lady. I was like, wait a minute, you feel good about myself. give her kisses but I don't want to get snot on her because that would be gross. Nobody wants a snot again. <laughs> See right there's what we're talking about. The indignant like the smacks and then the big jump. I basically just wanted to give, do a video and update you guys and just be like, sorry for the lack of videos. I still have like a bunch of cooking videos to edit now that I've got a new laptop. Once I have time, hopefully it won't be so destroying to actually edit them. I have got uh, about things I'm away again this next weekend to a friend's wedding. I'm really excited. I've never actually met her before, um, but we've been... Facebook friends for uh, over three years now. Uh, we met through a Crohn's and Colitis forum years ago. And we have been friends for, <laughs> we've been friends for years. Uh, and we've been supporting each other through a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, she invited me to her wedding and I was absolutely thrilled to accept. So I'm really excited about seeing her and being at her wedding. And yeah, just, it's such a privilege to be able to be part of her day. Uh, so yeah, I'm really, really excited. And, uh, and then the following weekend, I'm trying on more wedding dresses for my own wedding. And then the weekend after that, I just want to do nothing because I'm so tired. <laughs> it's just been flat out lately. Uh, but yeah, we're on the lead up to Christmas now, so it's, it's busy, busy. But, uh, I have two whole weeks off over Christmas. That's a good point. I'll need to queue up a bunch of videos for you guys because there's no internet where I'm going for Christmas. Well, there is an internet, but it's like so useless. Some people say there's no internet. Where I live, it's pretty standard to have about 30 megabits per second down near London. And, uh, of oh, my fiance's size, he has 0 0.1 of a megabit per second. 0 0.1. Like, literally, you just can't do anything with that. Right, these little monsters are getting out of hand. So I'm gonna go feed them. And, uh, yeah, love you guys. And I will see you in a video sometime soon. Uh, I've got a few ideas of things I'm gonna do. Uh, just when I get the chance. Yeah, about her crush. She's such a sweet girl. She's like, don't touch me. She makes really cute little charm noises. Ah, oh, she loves me really. She's my girl. Now these girls, they know they love me. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. They're just little snuggle bugs. Anywho, right, I'm really gonna go this time. So yeah, 